Look, I'll do my cool trick if you do yours. Nah. Poof! Huh? No? Come on. Do your cool trick. I know you can do it. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Last one. Do it, Rackle. Do it. Do your werebear mode. Wear wear bear out. Bear out. <laughs> like I'm like trying to say Hulk yeah. out, but what? Oh, he'll do it, but you won't? Come on! I even brought my fun fish. Look, everyone else is gonna do it except you? Oh, hold of the fucking phone. These are not bears at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they followed up a quick conjugal visit to the nearby Skull Village and a check-in with everyone there. They followed it up with a visit to a tomb just off the coast of the village. Yes, to Gildenhul Barrow, which turned out to be none other than the final resting place of the dreaded pirate Deathbrand, or Hockneer Deathbrand One-Eye Dude Guy. <laughs> Something like that. Alas, were they truly dead? Fuck no. This is Tamriel. No one really is forever. They come back as a ghost. And so the Dragonborn beat the shit out of them and claimed their mighty swords of power. And also beat the shit out of their entire crew. Guess they weren't that tough after all. <laughs> now it was time to continue exploring the island of Solstheim. Perhaps in search of werebears. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. Zoop. There we go. Let's do it, huh? Look at that. I didn't even notice it before, but you can totally see the Great Hall or whatever of Skull Village right up there. And the way it's lit up, it looks so nice, so scenic. But it looks even better at, like, peak darkness. Actually, you know what? Here, let's Let's wait like two hours. We could probably survive the elements for two hours out here. Ooh, look. Ooh. If only I had like a telescope or something. Fuck. Okay, it is getting kind of cold. All right, well. Do I have Ancestor's Wrath active available again? I do. At least it seems that way. There we go. Great. Let's head on over there. Oh, you know what? Let's also track this real quick and I feel like maybe this will be the last thing that we do on the island for now like I said I do want to come back but you know we'll do this there we go okay yeah look that marker from before uh, perhaps they only show up at the dead of night oh look visit the hunters at frost moon crack okay Jeez, we've gone by there so many times, huh? Okay. That's- this is the quest I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, Wolf Wildblood, okay. Sure, and then our other quests are miscellaneous ones and all that. Kill the leader of Stony Creek Cave? Where is that at? That's not on the island anymore, right? That's back on the mainland. Yeah. Which is why it showed Raven Rock, because, you know, that's our ship. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's head on up. Oh, jeez. What's our best course of action to get up there? I guess we'll just run over here, huh? Good. There's a fun little cave over here just as well. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. A cloaked walrus lord. One of the mighty horkers. Okay. Good. Yo. Do you think... Do you think Horkers and Netch have ever bred? I feel like they must have, right? I mean, from afar, especially. Like, if one of them is like... I don't even know. Do Netch have fucking eyeballs? How do they take in their surroundings? Maybe it's through some sort of, like, sonar or whatever? And that's why they consistently, like, thrum or whatever like that? Oh shit! Is this a real- the real fucking deal? <gasps> Yo, we're gonna do some fucking fishing! Did I just get a free fucking fishing rod, baby? 
Oh my god, yes we did. Fishing supplies. <gasps> Fishing! Whoa! <laughs> Fuck all that stuff about Netch and Horkers getting it on and having a weird hybrid creature. It's time for fishing! <laughs> fishing. While fishing, press activate to reel in your line. Reeling when there is a strong pull on your line will reel in your catch. Ripples on the surface when casting your line are from nearby fish. If the water is calm where when you cast your line, there are no more fish to catch here. Fish will return in a day's time. Okay. So we have to wait for... Oh, I can't move my camera or anything. Can I, like, use wads? No. Wow, I am actually, like, getting really cold. Okay. Is this... Was that... Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I like... I like fate. <laughs> I, like, I black out whenever I start fishing. <laughs> it gets a little too serene. The the amount of serenity on display is too much for me. I black out every fucking time. Started. Angler acquaintances? Visit the Riften Fishery. Yo, what? What? To become more skilled at fishing, I should visit the Riften Fishery and speak to those who work there, in particular. Viraya and Swims in Deepwater are rumored to be highly knowledgeable. Isn't Swims in Deepwater the, like, heavy moon sugar addict or skooma addict? Maybe it's a different person I'm thinking of. Okay, cool. Should we try and catch, like, one more fish? Why not? Look, there's some skull boots here, a poop bucket, worms, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we'll get one more. What did we even catch? I I was so distracted by the act of catching that I I didn't it was just some kind of fucking fish. <laughs> okay. All right. Huh? Ooh. An arctic arctic grayling. Oh. Okay. Sure. A little racist that they gave that to the Dunmer, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go on up here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Should we go into, like, fro- Nah, we'll, we'll save it for later. We'll save it for, like, next time and all that. You know? Be a fun treat. We got a whole bunch of still dudes. Wow, we're just going to freeze to death out here, huh? Holy shit. Jeez, look at how fucking fast the freezing is coming on. Do you... Does your... Thermal protection not work while you're fishing? Is it because you black out? <laughs> when you go to fish, when you black out, do you lose all of your... Your, like, warmth rating? Because when you black out, you're actually naked. You're just fishing completely naked every time. <laughs> That's the part you don't see. Can you, can you actually fish in third person? Can you look at yourself? I, I bet you can't. I, I bet that's the thing, is that you're fucking naked every damn time. I love it. <laughs> okay. We're about warm enough. We can go over inside of one of these buildings. Who? Do we have a friend's house here that we could sleep in? Like, damn, dude. Surely at this point, we gotta be friends with somebody in this place. Right? Yeah, your place. Yeah, I can sleep in... There we go. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> We're friends, even though you need to... You're gonna need to use this, but... Uh, whoops. I got your bed. <laughs> Just quickly sprint into their house and lunge into the bed, like, knocking it up against the wall. I One of the, like, posts gives out under the weight of, like, my armor like and everything. <laughs> All the fucking bullshit I'm carrying around. <laughs> Sorry, I need this. <laughs> Thanks. Love the friendship. <laughs> Helped you and your kid. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Hey. Hey, everyone. The historian has not stopped speaking your praises. Oh. It's so good to see you again. The others call you a friend, but I still see an outsider. Well, uh, Oslov, do you have a fucking you quest for me, or what? The elders talk of Great City is much bigger than okay. our village. Okay. But why would anyone need so many buildings? Let's see over here. Keep at it, dude. Good shit. 
<laughs> okay. Let's see. Pull up the map here. And yeah, I guess we don't have anything else tracked, so we can just make a beeline for our one single solitary marker. Maybe this was always marked in our map and I'm just the incompetent. I'm totally open to that. And we skull keep to our village. Okay. We'll head on over this way. Oh, should we pawn off a few things? In between videos, I sold a few potions off to the demonic lord of it brings me Capitalism. great comfort to know Hey, yo, Morwen. Oh, no, gone. never mind. She Thank left you. the village and I was born in Skyrim. Hey. Here to think what would have mm. Take a look. Baldur. Let's do a little buy and sell here. Oh, dear. What should I buy and sell? Hmm. Okay. Should I buy some stall room from you? I kind of want to. You know? I kind of want to. I'm, I'm kind of just going to do exactly that. Okay. About some iron. Good. Ebony, why not? Look, we got the carry weight to spare. Good. Leather, however, holy shit. <laughs> that shit's heavy as hell. <laughs> it's wild that, that they didn't, like, reconfigure the weight of leather to where it's at least on par with an ingot, right? I mean, I guess this is just a fuck load of leather, you know? It's just a shit ton. All right, let's sell off some junk. How about, we got these scrolls, we got some dumb potions we can get rid of here. There we are. How about those? Nah, I want those carry weight ones, they're nice. How about this, fortify stamina? Don't need them. I'll even take the hit. There we go. Strong steel guard you, friend. You too, Baldur. Strong ice guard you. <laughs> Have some lovely ice. <laughs> okay, over here. Up this way. Yeah. Yeah, we've been around this section a bazillion times before. Okay. Cool. Nah! Look at this. What a lovely day, huh? For Solstheim, at least. Here, can we also clear skies? We can maybe up the ante on this loveliness. There we are. Good stuff. Yeah, we still even, right? We still need to totally contend with the Mead Hall. Look, there's some sort of commotion going on over there. The Thrisk Mead Hall. We've, oh shit. We keep putting it off and we're going to keep putting it off. <laughs> we'll get that on the return trip, you know? It'll be something extra fun. Ooh, I wonder, is the taxidermy still there? Normally I'm a little, well, maybe more than a little. Normally I'm kind of creeped out by taxidermy in games and in real life. But, if there's one very specific bit of taxidermy in there, that'd be pretty neat. But I feel like that is not the case because you would have to model, make a brand new model just for that one, like, gag. Which does not seem like it would be worth the effort <laughs> okay i think that's something that that's always wild to me is whenever i'm reminded of the fact that when bgs made skyrim they were just barely over a hundred people right which is fucking wild to consider right like we always touch on like yeah they're quite a bit smaller than you would imagine for like the rapport the the like i don't know the renown that their games have and all that but then when you actually go to see the numbers and stuff compared to like other other development uh, studios that put out similarly renowned and popular games it's pretty fucking wild <laughs> right i guess that's like that's one of the benefits of having so many like long term uh members on your team and all that. They're familiar with with the engine and whatnot and familiar with each other, so the like collaborative effort and whatnot is a, a bit easier. You know? And it's just pleasant. It's just pleasant in general. Anyway, let's go on up here. Sorry, I like <laughs> I like saying nice things about it. Probably probably should ease up on it, but I don't know. I've always been unabashedly into, into all that shit. <laughs> I've always held and always said, 
If you're looking for a critical opinion on, on their games, never come to me. I'm the worst person for it. All right. Up here. There we go. Is this it? Frost Moon Crag. Okay. I'm ready for some werebears, baby. Looking like... Oh, shit. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Can we upgrade this with, like, firewood? Yo, what are the... What does this count as? Is this a sword? I would guess it's a sword. But then again, maybe it's a blunt weapon. Oh, no, it's a sword. Yeah, look at the icon there. Hi. Hey, thanks for that, Sky UI. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> oh, man, Rallis, I think I figured out what your dual wield weapon should be. Be on your way, Outlander. Yo, are you going to wear bear out on me? Are you going to go bear mode? Come on, do it. Do it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Look, I'll do my cool trick if you do yours. No. Poof! Huh? No? Come on. Do your cool trick. I know you can do it. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Last one. Do it, Rackle. Do it. Do your werebear mode. Wear, wear bear out. Bear out. <laughs> like, I'm like trying to say Hulk out, but... What? Oh, he'll do it, but you won't? Come on. I even brought my fun fish... Look, everyone else is going to do it except you? Oh, hold of the fucking phone. These are not bears at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> Oh, shit. These are not the cute werebears from before. Okay. Fuck me. Jeez. At least they're still susceptible to that bullshit. Okay. Fuck me. Fuck. Okay. Oh, a Daedric Dagger. Eh. Okay, let's heal up. Are they shooting their own people? <laughs> Hold up. Yo, did you two not even know that you that they were werewolves? Hang on, did you all not know? <laughs> is this a, as much of a surprise for you as it is me? I was expecting werebears, but did you all not even know that that was even in the fucking equation here? <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh shit, look at poor Rallis getting knocked around. Go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. <sighs> Terrifying. Pretty sure I've said during this playthrough before that werewolves are like among my top feared creatures to fight in anything. Absolutely terrified of werewolves watched a few too many scary werewolf movies as a kid and frankly played <laughs> and frankly played Morrowind's Blood Moon expansion as a kid when I really should not have honestly <laughs> the Elder Scrolls is probably very much responsible for that irrational fear <laughs> now that I think about it you know what <laughs> there, there might be a little bit of a connection there Jeez, look at this. Okay. See, you'd think maybe the vampires would get along with the werewolves because they, they do all this shit. Sheesh. Got a poop bucket there, too? Not even full yet. Okay. Yo, what do you think the over- Oh, look at this. Is this- Is this significant to, like, the Blood Moon prophecy or something? I don't think so, but maybe. Right? Because there's three different forms? Well, no, because there only one was humanoid in nature. Right? Yeah. It can't be. Well, maybe. Shit, I don't know. Okay. Let's pick into this thing. If we can. Oh, dear. There we go. Good. Garnet, gold... Lesser gem, ring of health, I guess I'll take it to sell. Okay. Look at this. 
drinking up a storm, huh? Eating a bunch of foods here, some venison. They seemed fairly peaceful. These were just people with names, you know? Huh. Also worth pointing out, we did that? But, uh... Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, that was for unmarked shit, huh? Oh, shit. So we still don't know where this fucker is. Oh, no! Oh, this- yeah, this was for the side quest. Oh, shit. Okay. Well... <laughs> do we have a lead on them? Oh, no, I don't think we do! Oh, no wonder they weren't werebears! This wasn't them at all! This was a different bunch of people! Oh. Ooh, dungeon cleared. <laughs> Thank goodness that played. I, I wasn't sure what would happen. Okay. Sure. Oh, it's getting very eerily quiet now. Alright, sure. Frost Moon Crag. Okay. Are there any missives we can find? that cover maybe relations between werebears and werewolves? I wonder. Okay. So where did we find those fucking bears earlier? They were up here at like the snow-clad ruins or something? Or where were they? They were... They were up around here somewhere, huh? Near the Stalrin source, right? Shit. What's our hint? Do we have like a hint of any sort? Just keep an eye out for him. Shit. Okay. I guess we'll go over to this? Well, that seems like it's a Reichling zone or whatever. Maybe it's one of these things up here, these two caves. I feel like it should be a cave. Well, I don't know. Altar of Thrawn. Oh, shit. We know of this. This was in Morrowind. Oh, my God. Eat your heart out. Jeez. Okay. What the fuck happened? Okay. I guess it wasn't a beast, right? Otherwise it will have consumed them entirely. Okay. Weird. Hey, do you think whenever necromancers go to rip someone's heart out for, like, magic, or someone goes to, like, make a Forsworn, Briar Sworn, Briar Heart, whatever, do you think they ever reach in to pull out their heart and they're like, Oh, weird. There's none in here. <laughs> Another person walking around without a heart. <laughs> or like, oh, weird. There's two. <laughs> I got two this time. <laughs> I just harvested two hearts from this person. Huh. <laughs> Must have been that new perk I picked up. <laughs> it's like with the fucking giants and their toes, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you don't even get one. <laughs> Fuck me. That's why they gotta kill so many people. The necromancers, they're just trying to keep- they're rolling the dice until they get a fucking heart. <laughs> okay. Over here, what do we got? We got some hanging butts. Could this be it? Look, we set off the trap. No frightening dudes have appeared, so- oh look. There's a Hagraven. Okay. Hey! Oh, it's Isabel. Okay. Why is your name so familiar, too? Do we know these people? Are you from Blood Moon? Falaise. Holy shit. Why are all these people fucking named? Do we know them? Etienne? Oh my god. Are these... Are these names from Blood Moon? This, this is totally like a Breton's name from Blood Moon or something, right? Or was this the name of the Red Guard lady that we saved? Fillets. Isn't... Wasn't Isabel, like, the... The the lady who was, like, angry about her husband cheating on her or something? And then she wanted to cheat on him or something like that. Some weird, like... <laughs> people be fucking, you know. <laughs> I don't remember this name, though. Then again, in saying that, maybe I don't remember any of the three of these. Oh, what the fuck? You have ectoplasm and whist wrappings on you. As well as the usual Hagraven stuff. Dude, did they... Did they start hagging out? 
If you hag yourself out, do you live really long? Oh my god. Fuck, maybe we should have had Ilya way back when go full fucking hag. Dude, that would have been fucking rad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Ilya. I love- <laughs> In loving memory of Ilya and everything way back when, during the early days of the playthrough, but... Holy shit, if we could have had, like, a hag as a companion, a follower... <laughs> Sign me the fuck up! <laughs> okay. Let's dig into this. Oh, shit. Good. All right. Good. I do kind of like that, though, because, you know, it's sort of a callback to Morrowind, right? Even, even if these aren't names specifically from Blood Moon NPCs that we had encountered and everything who, like, hagged themselves out and had some extended longevity or whatever, even if that's not the case, I love the fact that Everyone in Frostmoon Crag or whatever, Frostmoon Cave, the, like, werewolves and two people who were like, holy shit, you guys are werewolves? <laughs> Those folks. And these people. They all have proper names and shit. Which is so fucking Morrowind, right? In Morrowind, you didn't ever... It was super rare. It was, it was... It's like the inverse of Skyrim, where it's far more common to... Like, you're going into a cave and you fight bandits and stuff. And they're all named. They all have, like, a proper name. Like, oh, I'm... I'm old... Uh, Arvel Serethi Manethi, or whatever in here. And this... I'm the bandit guy. I don't really have a story, but I do have a name. Right? Whereas, you know, in the future, in, in Oblivion, you would go in... And, of course, Skyrim. You would go in, and it'd be like, oh, I'm... I'm bandit, or I'm... I'm vicious bandit. Or whatever the hell, you know? Maybe this is, like, a fun callback. What if they're the exact same names of some of the bandits and stuff? Huh. I don't know. Dude, I, I fucking need to know now. The names of these people. I definitely know of there being... There is definitely at least... We have some... <laughs> throughout my time playing these games, somewhere along the way, I don't know if it was in Blood Moon, but we definitely met an Isabel and an Etienne. We definitely did. Were they in Blood Moon? Mm, who knows? <laughs> Fuck, I hope they hagged out. Dude, I hope they hagged out so bad. Okay, over here. Ooh, we got some amber finally. Holy shit. Yeah, man, remember when we found the madness ore that one time? Whew. Okay. Oh shit, how heavy was that? Jeez, I'm Pete. Okay. Rallus, save me from my own sins. Azura's wisdom. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, yeah, carry this heavy sh- Oh, it only weighs one each. Sorry, I'm just a fucking baby, Rallus. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we'll stash all this junk on you, if you'll take it. Thank you very much, Rallis. I appreciate this a lot. And remember, you did kill some innocent people. That's why you have to do this. <laughs> there are fucked up attitudes. To the, it, it still remains. <laughs> you, just because the quest ended doesn't mean we're better now. now. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> we're only going to get worse from here on out. <laughs> what quest lines do we have left? Oh, shit. Oh, we, maybe we'll become a fucking vampire. Oh, maybe we'll just join the Dark Brotherhood. Look, we got plenty more room. The floor? Oh my gosh, we can knock right through that and keep going down further. <laughs> we can dig ourselves a basement. <laughs> How low can we go? Good God. Dig into, er, <laughs> dig into this, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Glass boots of brawn. Whew. Okay. Should I just apply it? No, I'll take it. I'll be responsible. Anything else cool in here? This is definitely not the place we need to be, but... Cool finding the three of them. Hmm. God, that would be so fucking dope if there, there were, like, three random NPCs who lived kind of, like, in the wilds or whatever. Or, like, in the Thrisk Mead Hall or some shit. 
fuck, for all I know, there is a quest tied to this, you know? Maybe there's a quest tied to this. And like, oh, they used to be kindly people, but something went awry. Ooh. Okay. Yo, holy shit. Fucking missed opportunity. You know how you can turn into a wolf and shit? Why can you not hag out? Oh my gosh! Is there like a f There must be. I swear, if... If in 10 plus years time, someone hasn't made a fucking mod where you can hag out, what are we even doing? What are we doing? There needs to be like a quest line where you can hag yourself out. What are we doing if that doesn't exist? We've been given all this power and we have squandered it. What the fuck? Let's go up here. Let's see what this amazing thing is. You know, our favorite icon. Mountain with line going through center. <laughs> I never know what the fuck that's supposed to be. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like like the Morrowind player in me sees that? I'm like, yo, that's a Foyada. <laughs> Fucking look right there. Foyada Mamea coming right down the middle. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Sorry, I, I told you that this this uh, this DLC uh, playthrough would be chock full of Morrowind shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's grab all this. I'm applying it. Look, I'm a fucking freak. What do you want from me? Now these, the Mosering Mountains, I totally remember them. We had to meet with... Isn't this where the cursed dude was who, like... No, it may not be. I'm thinking of the cursed dude who uh, could not sleep or whatever, right? This may be around where I was. I forgot who was at the Mosering Mountains, but I remember we had to look for them under some circumstance. Okay. Jeez. I forget, in this... In this DLC, do you find the ring? You know? Did you find it? Did you find Mo's ring? I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Fucking get out of here, Yobu Masataki Oniwa or whatever your name was. <laughs> it's a little fucking Sekiro for you. <laughs> wow, I'm just full of it today. What the fuck? Alright. Anything good? No, wait. The, yeah, their bodies are one. Take some red apples. I'll munch on them. Look inside of a flap. A bunch of bloody rags, flagons, some spears. Got some cool drawings here. Cool art. Here we go. Ply our way into this. Hmm. If we even can. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, fuck. You know, the Mosering Mountains may be an exterior-only zone. Because that icon, it might be... It might mean, like, you know, there's a path in the middle, like a valley path or something. Shit. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> All right, it's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Okay, we'll just go up a little bit. Okay, okay, we'll actually go down a little bit. Fuck! Okay, all right, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay. Look, right here, this is gonna be it. Okay. We'll go up a little bit. Fuck. Okay, we'll go up a little bit. Okay, we'll go up a little bit. Fuck me! I think it was down! Okay, okay. All right, that's, that's fine. Right here? Okay, we'll go down a little bit. <laughs> okay, we'll go, we'll go down a little bit. That's fine, we'll go down a little bit. Nailed it! Look, we got it in one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, it still hasn't gotten old for me. <laughs> Fucking 250 videos later. Still love it. <laughs> oh shit, look at this cool guy! Fuck yes! Look at this cool guy! <laughs> oh, I love this guy! 
What a dude! Okay, cool. <laughs> Way to make it your own, huh? Sure, I love that. All right. <laughs> Let's poke around here a little bit. What, do you think a dude's gonna pop out of this? I know. Okay. I'll munch on their apples, though. Oh, my God. They got the honey nut treat. Love it. What else is around here? Some pelts. Throw the pot. Look in the sack. Eat the carrots. That's all I know how to do. Boar meat. 57 big ones. All right. Over here. Dude, we may not find this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I, I'm guessing maybe we should just give up on it because I don't know. Like, how long could we go with. Oh, shit! <gasps> it's here! It's still in the game! Oh my god, this is it! The fucking airship! This is it? This is why we had to look for the Mosering Mountains. For the fucking Dwemer airship! Oh, shit. I thought that they had, like, retconned it out. Oh, hell yes. This was, um... What's his name? Like, Francois Beaumont or whatever. He built this to train... To train... To get some pussy, I guess. <laughs> right? That's it. He made it because he was trying to... He was horny. He was a really weird and horny man. <laughs> this was not made by the Dwemer. This was made by an incredibly horny dude. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Anything else over here? Let's see. Grab five gold. <laughs> Good. Man, we couldn't even go inside of it. Could could we could you enter it in in Blood Moon? I can't even remember. I'm not sure. Maybe you could. Right? Maybe you could. Fuck, I love this. Man. I can't believe it's working still after all this time. Like, you know, I understand shit in a Dwemer ruin still working after all this time. Because, you know, it hasn't been fucked with too much. But in this case, he literally ripped out parts of ruins and, like, well, as far as we know, he ripped out parts of ruins and repurposed them to make a flying ship. Huh. I guess he really knew what he was doing, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's see over here. Good. Yeah, he was... He was so... I forgot what it was. Like, the crew of this ship... They got, like, so... There was, like, a weird horny potion on board with them that he had, like, also concocted. And it made them, like, super horny and they, like, killed each other because they were, like, so madly in love with one another. You, you know what? Maybe... Okay. All right. Maybe that's not true. <laughs> Now that I think of, okay, I'm st I'm, I'm confused. So you know how every t every so often when we find like some environmental storytelling and shit like this, I'll make up like some weird wild ass story, you know, and I'll be like, oh yeah, this totally happened and all that. Yeah, he was really horny or whatever the hell. Now I'm starting to have second thoughts. Was that real or did I make that part up? And I'm remembering my made-up story about how, how how the entire crew got so horny they killed each other. The guy himself, the creator of this, who was not on the ship when it crashed, he was horny. Canonically, a horny guy. Dangerously horny, right? So dangerous, he, like, created a ship and it crashed and killed bunches of people, right? But the actual people that he got to, like, be on the ship... Didn't they get exposed to, like, some horny gas or something? Or, like, a horny potion? And it made them end up, like, crashing the ship or some shit? Or am I, have I completely made that up? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> Flash forward to fucking Elder Scrolls Six when that comes out. By then, I'm just writing my own fucking lore. I'm just, <laughs> if there's another DLC we'll, where we, we return somewhere so to, like, another familiar location, fucking no holds barred. <laughs> just everything's on the menu. Anything could have gone down in this place. 
<laughs> what the fuck? All right. Well, it wasn't what we were looking for, but it was pretty damn cool nonetheless, huh? I guess we should probably go in here. We're going to call the video here because, you know, like I said, still a little short on time. Hopefully by uh, toward the uh, the beginning of January, if you're watching this as they're coming out, or I guess if you're paying attention to the dates, we'll, ha we'll be back to, like, our more normal roughly 50-minute videos and whatnot and all that. Anyway, when next we come back, we will... Hmm. You know what? We will probably be back in Ravenrock because we're not too far off, are we? I can just, like, fly down the mountain and all that, right? Well, shit, should I do that right now as, as we're closing out? Maybe I should fly down the mountain right now. That way, in between videos... Right, in between videos, I can work on inventory management and whatnot. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. So in between videos, I'll do some inventory management, rough inventory management and all that shit, right? We'll get a whole bunch of stuff sold off and and all that. We'll, we'll make our bone mold armor. We'll do the enchanting and all that. Oh, no, we can't yet. We need Ajidal's gauntlets, don't we? In order to get the enchanting bonus. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I need those before we can make the bone mold. Uh, shit. That way we have, like, maximum efficiency on our trash. Oh, fuck. We don't have it at all. All right. You know what? Fuck it. We're going a little extra long. Against my better judgment, I'm going to pay for this, but... Yo, I need them gauntlets. I need those gauntlets for my enchanting. What are we doing if we don't have the fucking gauntlets? All right, Rallis... We have to go back. We have to go back, Rallis. We have to go back. We gotta go back to the fucking Colbjorn Barrow and find the amazing treasure that awaits within. Whoa. There we go. Ah. Oh shit. Let's heal up a bit. <laughs> look at this. We're so close to ending it right there. But now, look at this. We're filled with a, a vitality. Goodness gracious. We need those gauntlets. Where are they in there? I don't fucking know. That's gonna be the real problem. Is I didn't... I forgot about them. I didn't think to look it up. <laughs> I didn't think to look up where exactly they are in there. But fuck, I need them badly. <laughs> there must be like another chamber or whatever that got like mined out more that we didn't fully explore. What? Too bad we can't ask nah. Alice. Like, yo, when you were communing and like you had Ajidal inside your fucking brain mind controlling you and everything did you did did you happen to learn anything <laughs> did you happen to get any secrets while you were your mind palace was being like overran by ajidal's corrupting influence let's go over here is this is this it yeah okay let's get rid of our marker so it doesn't fuck with our ability to navigate here good 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 Okay. Look, they took down everything, huh? Wow, that's sad. I mean, you know, even more sad, you know, there were dead bodies and loved ones lost and everything. <laughs> okay. Over here. Thankfully, they left the scaffolding, otherwise you would never be able to get back in normally. Okay. Good. Or get back out, I should say. Or no, was there a secret exit area or whatever? There may have been a secret exit area. Okay. We're on the lookout for some fucking gauntlets. Shit, I have no idea. If anything, you know what? In the area with the gauntlets, there could be enemies. Do we have, like, detect life? What is that? Alteration? Yeah. Or would it be detect dead? Hmm, think about that. Okay, well, it's literally dead. I guess I would need undead. Hmm. Okay. So what section is this over here? Right, I remember this. Yep, I remember this. But where are these sweet-ass gauntlets at? Hmm. Pull on this. Like, is this it? Is this the area? No, because that loops back around to the main section. Hmm. 
And what's in there, I wonder? Or can we already access that from going this direction? Yeah, we can. Hey, I found him! Wow, perfect! All right, Ajadal's Gauntlet's awarding. That's it! Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> he came out of his eyes. Oh, no. Uh, I'm crying arrows. They're poison, too. Uh. <laughs> what a dude. Okay, let's get on out of here. Great. And we'll head back to Raven Rock, and finally, we can get our shit going, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm kind of excited for it. I'll finally have my favorite look and everything. Or a look that we may very well just carry to the end of the game with it. Because I enjoy it so much. Okay. Over here. I still need to come up with a good look for Rallis. You know? Because we can't just have him wear the Ajadal set. As funny as that would be, it looks like ass. You know? It looks like ass. Like, come on. One out of date style by a few hundred years. <laughs> Come on, jeez, you look like one of the fucking ancient Nords walking around in that. Sheesh. Open a fucking magazine. <laughs> Gotta update your fucking fit, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over here to our nice little humble abode. Beautiful. Alright, great. Now we'll close things out, huh? <laughs> jeez. So, when next we come back... We'll have done all that shit. Hopefully. Unless I've, like, fucked something up along the way. Hopefully I haven't. <laughs> and, like, we're missing some other crucial, important reagent or ingredient or whatever. All right, but we'll take care of all that. And you know what? Maybe I'll even make a fun new weapon, because I've been having my eye on it for a while now. I just haven't really said anything about it. <laughs> Do you like that? No? Okay. Well, when next we come back, all that dealt with, and... We're heading back to the mainland, baby. Solstheim? We will return another day. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>